Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. All right, welcome everybody to the uh, Hump Day Show. I am Los, your host with the most, Public Enemy 59. Joining me today, we got uh, Linkster 101, JP. Say what's up to the people. All right. Uh, oh, no. We are now at the precipice of the yes. NFL playoffs. Yes. Right? Couple of weeks to go. We're right at the end. There's Correct. still some playoff spots up for grabs. Correct. So we're going to kind of go over the the playoff teams. We're going to go over who we think are going to grab the last positions and who are our predictions to kind of go deeper into the to the playoffs. And, uh, you know, our, 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 our opinions on who we think have had the best seasons, breakout seasons, who's going to be MVP. So, you know, let us know who you guys think deserve it. Fuck it, let's get right into it. So, um, first and foremost, let's go with the hottest team in the league right now. Have clinched their division, are in the battle of clinching home field advantage, the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So, we're going with the ASC. I, yeah, I did not see yeah, agreed. Lamar Jackson coming. Um, agreed. I didn't think he was going to have a solid season. I thought he was going to for sure improve. People saying that at the beginning of the season that he was in NFL material, I think weren't watching the games last year. Um, but I did not expect what we saw this year. And Lamar Jackson has been blowing up the league. Broke and uh, Michael Vick's NFL rushing record from a QB, which is unprecedented. Michael Vick was a was a stud. Was the shit, guys. I yeah, saw him and play. so for Lamar Jackson to come in and break that record, like damn, and he's yeah. only his in his what second year, uh, third second year. Something? But I mean, the overall team around him, I think, with uh, the running backs that they got, the tight ends, they're going to be the number one seed, hands down. Um, it's mm-hmm. already decided. Uh, the road to the Super Bowl goes through Baltimore as far as AFC mm-hmm. goes. Um, so we, we know that th- their defense is suspect. Uh, no one has been able to stop them all year except the Cleveland Browns, uh, that one game where they beat them at Baltimore. Uh, so right now the Baltimore Ravens uh, look like they're going to be a 14-2 team, maybe a 12-4 team. They still have to face the Browns this week. Um, and I think that yeah. could be an, I think the way be an the Browns the way the Browns are playing, I just don't see the Browns beating uh, well, Baltimore. They, they said the exact same thing last time, so we know that's the number one seed. The number two seed is essentially um, the Patriots. Uh, as of right now, as right? of right now, they're, they're, they're on a never, downward yes spiral. Uh, not a spiral, that, but they're not playing their best football. That offense is suspect. Is having trouble scoring points. The defense has been getting finally has been getting beat. They got caught um, cheating again. Uh, Videotape once again. <laughs> true. So true. I mean, a lot of stuff is going against the Patriots now. I believe they're eleven and three. Um, Correct. So they're the second seed, from my understanding. Yes. Now uh, the third seed, I think, who is, have claims their division is the KC. Kansas, Kansas City. Now yes. Kansas City. They're getting healthy. Uh, they're getting all their wide receivers back. They're getting mm. defensive players back. Yeah. They're, they're starting to play and get that rhythm going. And just a perfect time is the end of the season. So they're going to be the number three seed. Now the number four seed, um, of course, is it's still undecided. Still Texas. But I'm telling you guys right now, it will be the Houston Texans. Uh, I agree. I Deshaun even Watson a- in the final two weeks. I think he's going to be clutch. Get the team into the playoffs. And we they're go- going to face Tennessee again. They beat Tennessee this last week. They're facing Tennessee uh, again in the last game of the season. So these last two weeks are vital between these two teams vying for yes, playoff position. But the, t- the Texans have Tampa Bay next. 
and Tennessee has New Orleans. So Whoa. it's over. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they will not be making the playoffs as of yet. Now, those are the number four seeds. Right now, those are the number four. And I'm telling you guys right now, I even made a bet on it. I already just won. I, I won that bet. I said Texans would go to Tennessee and beat Tennessee. They did so. I think they'll beat them here at home easily, too. It doesn't matter. But they'll beat Tampa Bay. New Orleans yeah. will kick Tennessee's ass. Now, right, here's the, where uh, wild here's, card. Yeah, here's where it gets interesting. Buffalo clinch a wild card. Or, yes. it, or they could still clinch the division. But they have to win all that. Game. And yeah. they're going against the Patriots. So if they beat the Patriots, Ooh, that's and, this, be and it's this week, if they beat the Patriots, they will have uh, 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 the tiebreaker uh, against the Patriots because the Patriots won the first game and then the Buffalo Bills won the second. But based on how – uh, the structure of your schedule and how tough your opponents are. In that case, automatically Buffalo jumps the higher the higher seed. Um, um, and where is that? Do you know where they're playing that game? They are playing at the Patriots. Patriots. Oh, so is it going to be snowing? That's what I want to know. It doesn't matter. I think if it snows, it benefits more Buffalo's team simply because of the fact they're a run heavy team. They're not. Their quarterback runs a lot. I never thought I'd see. Mm-hmm. Uh, the quarterback runs so much. He runs way too damn much, in my opinion. You, I know you meant to say a white boy run that much. No. I, I know it. <laughs> it just, there's no such thing. I just don't like running quarterbacks. We know their history with running quarterbacks. They they just don't play good. Uh, yeah. um, and they only last for one or two years. So this is something that's just like whatever. So, yeah, maybe he's the um, first, he's first So at Patriots, back. if it snows, I want to see that's that game. Quarterback. Bear in mind that is a Saturday afternoon game. So yes, correct. It's going to be very entertaining to watch. Very entertaining. Uh, uh, it's a prime time. Well, you know, they got the triple header going on Saturday, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, now, the last wild card spot. We know Buffalo or New England got one of the wild cards, depending on how that all ends up. Uh, yes. But we got a couple of teams vying uh, for that final wild card spot. We got it's going, it's going to be Pittsburgh. It's going to be Pittsburgh. You, you think it's Pittsburgh? Yeah, because Tennessee's right. going to lose next week, this week, this week, mm-hmm. uh, and they will lose to the Texans. Uh, Pittsburgh has that locked. Cleveland Browns, and, you're, and you're saying Cleveland got a chance to beat Baltimore. If Cleveland, so what if, are they win if, out? If they win out, but uh, Pittsburgh has to lose one of those one of these games, and they got the Jets, but their last game was at Baltimore. The last game. Hey, now, Jets are in a pushover. Jets have really progressively gotten better uh, throughout the year. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm still going with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Usually around this time, everything's already said. So I'm saying Pittsburgh. Uh, the Browns, what a disappointment. What a yeah. disappointment. Uh, yeah. if, if, if they don't make it to the playoffs this year, they deserve to fire everybody in that staff. Again? Uh, Everybody, I'm sorry, it just didn't work. It was so bad. Well, they should have kept. They should have kept Hugh. What's his name? Uh, Hugh Jackson. The, I think. Yeah, they should have kept Hugh Jackson. I think it would have made a difference. I think they would have. Yeah, I think it would have made a huge difference. I don't I think, think so. so. I was right. Los was right. No, you weren't right because Chuck the tape. I was right. But yeah, right, that's, uh, that's what we have for AFC as far as how he's how it's set up for players. Yeah, and oh, another disappointment I want to put out there: Oakland Raiders. Come on, you you had the the team, high expectations. I mean, maybe it's a curse. You're still in Oakland next year. They're in Las Vegas. Maybe it'll all change. Um, in the in the uh, NFC, <laughs> it's tough. Uh, NFC. No, uh, we got a couple of teams vying for that. As of right now, Seattle has the number one spot. Right? As of they right now, the tiebreaker. As of right now. As of right now. Uh. They got uh, they're tied with Green Bay and and New Orleans, so it's a three way tie. But as of right now, Seattle got the the spot, but they don't even got the clinch the division because of San Francisco, right? Uh, we got the 49ers going against the Rams prime time Saturday. You have the uh, Seahawks going up against the Cardinals. the Cardinals. Now, now the thing is the 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 so. If Seattle wins all outright, because keep in mind, mm-hmm. the last game is against the 49ers. That's oh. a big game. Big uh, game. So if they're, they're going to beat Arizona. Seattle's going to beat Arizona. But it all falls back on San Francisco. If they beat the Rams, which I think they have the capability to do so, uh, if of they course. beat the Rams 
and they spank them, then you have that final game Showdown. where the first seeding is going to take see, place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're fighting for first first place, first seed, but then whoever loses still wins the wild card. So yes. whoever so loses they're, still they're makes it in the wild card. But the thing yeah. is, the actually, Seattle, I think it would benefit Seattle more. They're a better road team than a home team lately. Uh, but they really? still want okay. they still want their they still want their home fans and that crowd to be a big factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so course. that's what's going on in the first seeding and the first slot of the the wild card. Uh, for the yeah. second seeding, uh, we got uh, Green Bay. Now Green Bay faces who this week? Um, uh, let me check. Uh, Green Bay is facing off against oh Monday night the Vikings. The Vikings and that's Cousins a big has game. been playing. Very well. Now, the Vikings need this game because they are the final the slot it. in that yeah. playoffs. They're trying they to get the wild cards. So. this game. So, That's, if, if can Green I just say, can ahead. I just say one thing? Man, these last two weeks are coming up very entertaining. They're crazy. Crazy. Very entertaining. Like, so if, if you're football fan, you're going to love this. Exactly. First of all, the AFC, to me, I thought was going to be the most competitive. Wrong. Wrong. The NFC is turning out to be super competitive, down to the wire. It's going to come down to the last week. Uh, with the AFC, yeah, maybe you got the Patriots and the Bills to decide. And the Texans, you know, but they kind of already know they're going to make it. But, hey, uh, Eli, Eli, we can hear you, brother. Um, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Okay. Uh, sorry about the background noise, guys. Um, but yeah, the NFC is turning out to be super entertaining. Man. Well, what I can say right now, if Green Bay beats the Vikings, and I, are they playing at the Vikings or are they playing at Green Bay? Uh, at Vikings. If if Green Bay beats the Vikings, they will get the number two seeding, hands down. If they lose to the Vikings, they will get the number three. Now, New Orleans, I have a feeling they're going to win out the rest of the games. They will get the second seeding, so they'll get a playoff game. Um, so all that leaves is really the most shittiest division in the NFL, uh, <laughs> which is the NFC East. Uh, you're talking about the Cowgirls. You're talking about Philly, Washington Giants. Uh, yeah, worst course, division in football. Worst division in football. But I the, bet NFC South doesn't have that title anymore. It's and, the NFC East. Yeah. So, as of right now, from the looks of it, the Cowboys ha- are winning that spot. But I have a feeling they will lose to Philly. Um, and Philly will go to the playoffs. Um, but it's up in the air. That's another game. This that, That's this week. Uh, this Sunday, I believe, at 325 on Fox, the game of the week, Philly versus uh, the Cowgirls. So they're going to have to go <laughs> battle it head to head. Um, I don't trust Carson Wentz. He has no wide receivers. Uh, he's going to have to pull it out of his ass. Uh, and I hope he does and, you know, kill that that horrible franchise and their horrible fans um, for this year. Yeah, uh, it's coming down to the wire, man. Minnesota, you got L.A. kind of fighting L.A. Rams, that. but they have to win. Every season. They have to beat San Francisco, and then they have to beat the other game and be dependent on other teams. To lose. Yeah, not gonna that's not, not going to happen. You're right. Yeah, uh, so it looks like happen. Minnesota. If Minnesota can beat Green Bay, they take that slot, and you got Green Bay going into the wild card. Um, yeah, man, pretty entertaining these last couple of weeks. I'm excited to see where it goes. Now, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to talk about our surprise players of the year um, or just – Players that have impressed you throughout the year. Who you well, got? I mean, n- number one overall, the MVP, who was a big surprise, which was uh, Lamar uh, Jackson. Jackson, I, yeah. I think, I think he's been the biggest surprise. No one thought he was going to be this good as far as running. Now, as I said before, running quarterbacks, they're, they are one yeah, but, wonder. Uh, they uh, running aside, one running aside, the guy could throw. The guy's been throwing darts, throwing touchdowns. Extending plays with his feet, but I mean, yeah, he's been, he runs. But, but I, you know what? I, I, I've seen this before. I've seen this with Michael Vick. I've seen this with Vince Young. I've seen it with RG3. Uh, running quarterbacks yeah. don't last long. Um, one year, they'll get really, really good. Then after all that, they need him to do is play good this year this and win year. a Super Bowl. Yeah, and win a Super Bowl. That's it. I honestly That's all they need. I honestly don't think they will make it to the Super Bowl. Uh, but, I mean, I, they are my pick coming out of the AFC. 
I don't see anybody from the AFC stopping them uh, as far I as, agree. as Texans, Patriots, uh, uh, KC. I just don't see it. Yeah. Um, I think they will go to the Super Bowl, but they will lose the Super Bowl. Uh, from the NFC, I'm, I'm with New Orleans. Um, I, I like... But the Rams, the Rams are going to find a way, bro. Well, good. Well, I mean, well, I'm, I, going for, I'm going for New Orleans because I picked them at the beginning of the year. Uh, but really, really, I like San Fran. I'm okay with San Fran winning the Super Bowl, getting six Super Bowls. Yeah, I'm okay when with When you it. learn from the from the best of all time, you get yeah, good, bro. I, I, I'm okay with, you know, um, just any anybody. I'm Minnesota, yeah. Green you know, Bay. I'm okay with them. Um, uh, I just you don't know, want Seattle to win. I don't want Seattle to win. And I don't uh, want uh, um, what you might call it, uh, the Calgary, but they're going to lose. The yeah, game, and, you know, another one of my big surprises of the year has been San Francisco's offense. I know I kind of knew their defense was going to be stellar. Yeah, but the fact that this team has become a hard hitting, hard nosed, grinding running team, right? Uh, behind most are, uh, you got uh, that just tough running game and has create, given Garoppolo a chance to excel at the QB level there. I mean, uh, it's I, about, to me, that's been a big surprise. It's about time. They're all, the, all those first-round picks that they got, uh, people forget that Colin Kaepernick had losing seasons in with the 49ers for like three years, I think, three or four years. Uh, he, was, he was a crappy quarterback for them, gave them a lot of first-round picks in higher rounds, so they were able to draft very well. And that's all credit to John Lynch. John Lynch was very smart in how he picked it, how he went about it. Uh, he, he got a steal with Jimmy Garoppolo as of now. Now, keep in mind, Jimmy G is their weakness as I think uh, San Francisco goes. I think their motor is their defense and their run game, but their driver, which is Jimmy G, can sometimes be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he'll do a U-turn where there's not supposed to be a U-turn and he gets into And office. the player that has shut me up the most, Kirk Cousins for Minnesota, he showed up big in some of these games throughout the season. I, you know, I was talking shit, I got to admit. I thought Kirk Cousins uh, last year was a sign of more things to come. How you like that? Wrong. How you he, like that? He's played clutch in, in some of these games. Uh, the team overall has played very well. And they're right in the thick of it. I mean, either way, I think they make uh, the playoffs as a wild card. But uh, they have a chance to win the division against Green Bay. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, people not saying that Lamar is not going to win MVP midseason, I was like, you're crazy. Because he's going to continue. This. Yeah, people, he, wanted to he give it, MVP. people wanted to give it to Russell uh, Wilson. Which is like, deserving oh, because no. yeah, he's, but he's been carrying that team. He had, but... Mid-season, I was looking at the stats, and they're like, oh, give it to Russell. I'm like, are you crazy? Lamar Jackson's putting up video game numbers. And he, and I was right uh, mid-season to say that Lamar Jackson was going to win it all because, well, uh, the MVP. I think it's either one the, because if Lamar – man. If Russell Westbrook goes to the Super Bowl, it's over. Lamar Jackson, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I like to. Sorry. I like to I, take I like that Russell way. Westbrook. But I don't I want like to take that. But you way. know what? I don't want Russell Westbrook to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, 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 not this year. I was right about Trubisky. He's trash. He, and people thought he was gonna excel this year. Wrong. He's trash. Fucking Chicago traded up for the one of the worst draft decisions ever made in the history wow. of the draft. Wow. It, it's just. I think the biggest per, the biggest letdown the quarter the the, per, the player that's giving me the, the biggest letdown I think has been Carson Wentz. I expected more from Wentz and and Nick Foles Trash. too. Nick Foles Trash. too. Hey, Nick Foles got injured, so you can't really say oh he's had a the guy's been injured most of the season, but he should have been, stayed in Philadelphia. They would have had another championship. Carson Wentz is trash. I was yeah. right. Well, this is how we have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our football preview as far as who we think is going to be in the playoffs. Uh, once the playoffs are set, we'll go over who we think is going to be the champion. Um, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a badass yeah, two weeks. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be New Orleans coming out of the NFC. I'm thinking it's Baltimore coming, coming out of the AFC. They meet, New Orleans wins, and then I have to hear all these stupid-ass New Orleans talk all that shit uh, while I'm at work. So, yeah. Hopefully, you know, it's San Francisco versus the Houston Texans, and Houston Texans beat San Francisco. 
That'd be nice. One can dream. <laughs> One can dream. All right, but dream. guys, tell, tell us what you all think is going to make it into the playoffs. Who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite player? Uh, offensive player of the year is going to be uh, uh, the uh, Carolina. What's his name? Uh, McCaffrey. McCa- McCa- man, what a beast. What a weapon. Uh, yeah, but what a waste of a year. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tell us who you guys think is going to win it all. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, thank you guys. Peace. Wait, you can hear me? Yes.